today's episode will look at gender non-conforming experiences of architecture and look at space and practice and approach that topic from effective conditions that uh, gender non-conforming people experience walking through, um, through public space, through the public realm, how that affects spatial design. Uh, and to try and approach that uh, from a critical analysis, to interrogate architectural practice as an institution, how architectural practice at times uh, can uphold larger structures of uh, violence and institutionalised violence, uh, but also to approach it from, uh, I guess, looking at how catharsis can be used as a, a way of intervening in that and to reframe the problem rather than looking at architecture from a neoliberal perspective, trying to understand how architecture can solve these issues from a transformative justice or a social justice issue uh, or, or perspective. did fade. She pulls out splinters and waits. Not waiting for affirmations. She's beautiful. policing of boundaries, which is also a very strong part of fascism, both at personal identity boundaries, institutional boundaries and physical boundaries. And trans-exclusionally radical feminism has all of those elements of fascism in it. And I, I think we really saw that in the way that they took over the march in London and the kind of spatial tactics. Such a, a turf focus on, um, on trans women as essentializing womanhood but actually what happens in those discussions, in those trans-exclusionary like, debates, is a solidification of who counts as a woman, who can be protected as a woman, who deserves politics. Uh -huh. 